Welcome to the Learn Spanish con Salsa podcast. Here is your host, Certified Language Coach, Tamara Marí. Hola, bienvenidos al episodio 210. Welcome to episode 210 of the Learn Spanish con Salsa podcast. I am your host, Tamara Marie, and this week we are going to be sharing a very special recording with you that recently we did over the weekend here at Spanish Con Salsa. We held a free workshop on the five steps to Spanish fluency. And for all of you who attended, thank you so, thank you so much for spending part of your Saturday with me. Uh, if you did not get a chance to attend, you are in luck because for this week only, I will be making the recording available so that you can catch the replay. So if you did not uh, get to attend the workshop or you didn't know about it, go to SpanishConSalsa.com slash free workshop. Now it will be showing that the workshop has passed. It was, like I said, this past Saturday, but you can register. And once you register, you'll get an email. And once you see that email in your inbox, just click the link to confirm and it will send you right to the page for the replay of the workshop. Now, why should you spend time watching this session? So in the five steps to Spanish fluency, I really break down exactly what you need to do to develop a roadmap and a realistic plan that will actually be effective at getting you speaking Spanish with confidence in 90 days. So I encourage you to get a pen and a pad or open the notes app on your phone um, while you listen so that you can take down those notes and come up with your 90 day plan. Um, and if you attended the workshop live, you know that um, I did open it up uh, to you all. If you're still working on uh, your plan, your 90 day plan, please send it over to me if you would like some feedback. Um, I did do some live coaching in, in the session on Saturday. So again, thanks so much for those of you who attended live. Make sure you go to SpanishConSalsa.com slash free workshop so that you can get access to the replay. It will only be available for this week, so we will be shutting that down on Sunday. So that will give you an opportunity. But I thought that in this episode of the podcast that I would actually share with you uh, a part of that workshop. So last week's episode, uh, we did talk a little bit about uh, a workshop I had done in the past as well. Uh, and in this week's episode, you're going to get a special sneak preview of the workshop. Now in this section, I'm talking about what it really takes to be consistent so that you make consistent progress. So I talk about the five key things that you must do on a consistent basis if you want to be fluent in Spanish. So I will be sharing that in this episode so you can listen. And again, if you want to get the full workshop, SpanishConSalsa.com slash free workshop, and you'll be able to catch the replay this week only. So I hope you enjoy this uh, sneak peek behind the scenes of the workshop. So if you hear me referring to uh, something on the screen, then you'll know that um, you can also get the replay um, as well, and you'll be able to see the entire presentation and those five steps to fluency. But these five things that you need to do consistently are very important because I think we spend a lot of time uh, learning the language, like listening to podcasts like this one, which I'm so grateful you're listening. But after you turn off this podcast, when it's over, what will you do next? So that's what we'll be going through. What are those five things that you need to spend the majority of your time when you are working with the Spanish language? What do you need to do to actually get fluent? So I hope you enjoy this excerpt from our workshop, this five steps to Spanish fluency. And at the end, I will be sharing a little bit more information with you if you'd like to take this a little bit further. So basically those are the actual reasons, right? We might think it's all these other things, but the real reasons it, that we're not um, fluent in Spanish chat is because we don't have the consistency to get to fluency. So I hope that's clear. It's not all these other things. It's not you're too old. It's not that you don't have time. It's that you're not consistent. And there are really five C's of consistency, right? These are the things that will really help you be consistent. If you have these, it's almost impossible to fail. So the first one is clarity. So I talked about having a goal. And the thing about having a goal is that it's not just a general vague idea that I want to be fluent. It's having a clear goal to reach fluency. And for me, coaching really helped me clarify my goals and stay focused to reach them one at a time. You know, and that's with learning languages. That's been with other things in life. 
um, coaching to me, I just believe in, in coaching as a process because we have that connection and that accountability that we need to move forward. So, you know, having that clarity is super, super important. Also conversation. So we've been talking about, you know, practice speaking the language. It is so necessary to practice speaking Spanish. You can't just learn vocabulary and grammar all day in a vacuum and never use the language. Um, you know, and once I started speaking Spanish on a regular basis, I really noticed I started to make progress. Um, and the picture that I have here is actually from a meetup that I, I, I would say I crashed it because I went to a meetup. It was actually for Latina business women, and I'm not Latina, contrary to popular opinion. I'm from the U.S., uh, but I went just to see, like, okay, I was like, maybe this will be an opportunity for me to practice speaking Spanish. Uh, and they were very kind. They they welcomed me, and they did not speak to me in English. They did not speak to me in English. They're like, nope, you're here. You're hanging with us now. <laughs> so it was really good because I got to talk to different people. They were all kind of from different places. Uh, and I really was able to uh, make those connections. And it was something that was happening regularly. So the more you have this sort of as a part of your life, um, the better, but you need to have that conversation practice. And if you're having conversations frequently, it's really hard to not become fluent, right? Also connection. So I talked about connecting with other people and also connecting with your sort of reason for learning Spanish, but you have to have a real connection to the language or to the culture, because otherwise other things will come up in life that are more important and it's going to be really hard to stay consistent. So find ways to connect with the language and the culture that are unique to you. So for me, it was my obsession with Latin music and Latin dance. Um, it really just made Spanish a natural part of my life because, you know, almost, you know, at one point, several times a week, <laughs> um, I would be going out dancing. I'd be listening to the music. I'd be dancing to the music. Um, and this picture here on the slide is actually a performance I did student performance team, definitely not a professional dancer. <laughs> um, but uh, we did this at the a Salsa Congress. So it's like a big salsa festival. Um, and we performed this routine. Um, it was like a mambo kind of salsa routine. So it was just naturally something that was a part of my life. So any way you can make a connection, you know, to people, to the culture, um, it really does help you remain consistent. Uh, and then there's commitment. Sorry, that should be for <laughs> commitment. Finding your why and making it personal is so, so important. Um, you have to decide that you are going to get fluent in Spanish. It has to be a non-negotiable for you. So once you connect with your real reason for wanting to be fluent and you just decide, like, listen, I am going, I am determined that I'm going to reach my goal. Um, I don't know how many of you uh, heard um, the last episode of the podcast from last week, but we had um, Cynthia on and she's one of the members of our Spanish consulsa community. And she talked about how, you know, her family, you know, she, she had a family that was, um, that had, you know, Hispanic roots, but she didn't grow up with them. And she, she sort of wanted to connect more with that. So she just determined that she was going to become fluent, you know, I mean, she spent years and years of, you know, trying different things, but she never gave up. So you really have to have that 100% commitment and determination regardless of what comes up, regardless of where you are in that, you know, should that success uh, sort of squiggly line that you're going to get to, to your goal. Because if you don't, I guarantee you life will happen. It will knock you off the path. Um, one, one really powerful story of consistency. We had Brittany was one of our founding members of Spanish Con Salsa. And we had a, um, an app we were kind of using in our community is called habit share. So you would put up something you were going to do every day. And then every single day you would go in and mark off, right. That you had completed it. So Brittany actually built up a 549 day consistency streak. Uh, so she was going in, doing lessons every day, learning with music, and she got to 549 days at one point, which I think is amazing. So if you can do math, right, that's like, what, almost two years, right? Definitely more than a year. Um, just from making that commitment and keeping track of it every single day. So it is possible. And the last thing is community. You know, and this is somewhat related to connection, but we really do need other people. And if you find a group of other committed language learners, it'll help keep you motivated. And I don't just mean, you know, having friends or family that speak Spanish fluently already, or they may be bilingual because, you know, those folks are not necessarily in the same boat as you. If you're in the process of learning and you want to become fluent, there are unique experiences that you are going to have that you can share with other um, Spanish learners that someone who grew up 
you know, speaking both languages is not going to necessarily share. So having a group of other committed language learners is so, so important. Um, and I found several language learning communities when I first started out, it really just helped inspire me because I would see other people making progress and then I would go, okay, maybe I can learn that. Or they would share resources, ideas, tips and tricks, things they figured out. So it's so, so important to have that community around you. Okay, so these five C's, again, if you have these five things, then becoming fluent is almost, an, it's just going to happen, right? It's just, it's a matter of when, not if. So it's clarity, having a clear goal, conversation, practice speaking Spanish with real people regularly, not texting, <laughs> but real conversations, connection, really, really connecting with the, the language, the culture, the reason that you're learning, commitment, making that real determination that you are going to get fluent, and then having a community of other language learners to help you along the way. All right, so those are the five C's of consistency. So I'm um, just gonna check in with the chat. Again, if you have questions, feel feel free to pop them in. Phonetics that I've been learning with you guys for 45 years and I love it, that's awesome. Maybe you could share what um, programs that you've been a part of and what you like about them, that'd be great. Um, Laura says, I love the language and I don't like to be able to converse with someone. Um, let's see, Portia says, the moment I hear an accent outside of Dominican that I'm than I'm used to, I clam up and I'm afraid to speak. Uh, and we talk, we'll, we'll talk about that, like, you know, what to do when you don't know what someone is saying, right? And and actually, I don't know how many of you have been a part of it, but we have been um, this week and we will continue next week. We do have some more sessions. Uh, we do have some free conversation practice sessions that we're hosting um, these, these two weeks so that you can get that practice. And one of the things we talk about is like, what do you say or what do you do when you don't understand what someone says? So I hope if you've already signed up that um, you will definitely get, um, you know, get signed up and be part of one of those sessions. You should be on our email list. So hopefully you've already received that. If not, please um, send us a message after the session. We'll get you signed up for those. All right. So these are the things that you need to be uh, fluent in Spanish. So now we're going to get to, you know, the part of it where we're really going to go through how do you develop your 90 day plan? to conversational fluency. You know, how do we begin to do that? So in order to do that, we have five steps. I know it was just getting good, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed that excerpt of the workshop on the five simple steps to Spanish fluency. And again, if you want access to the replay, it will be available this week only at SpanishQuanSalsa.com slash free workshop. Again, it will show you that the workshop has passed, but go ahead and register and you will get um, redirected to a page with the recording of the workshop. Uh, so after this, I go right into those five steps to fluency. I go through it in detail and explain to you exactly how to set an effective goal that will get you to fluency in 90 days. So you will definitely want to check out that presentation. Again, SpanishQuanSalsa.com slash free workshop uh, if you'd like to dive into that further. And if you would like to know what is my next step, right? So uh, I've kind of done this exercise. I attended the workshop. I watched the replay. And now what do I do? Uh, so like I mentioned in the workshop, feel free to send over uh, your goals that you set. You can respond to the same email where you get the registration link. Um, if you would like it to be reviewed by me or the team, but if you want to get on the call with someone live and you want to talk through what are your options uh, for actually executing your 90 day plan, then I encourage you to go to SpanishQuanSalsa.com slash chat. So that is again, SpanishQuanSalsa.com slash chat, C-H-A-T, not for chat GPT, <laughs> but to actually chat with a real human, a member of our team, and we will help you. Uh, decide what is the best way for you to implement your plan. So we have several different uh, programs at Spanish Con Salsa, but we also have access to other resources that we will refer you to so that you can really get another pair of eyes on the plan you've come up with and some expert advice on based on where you are right now, what is your next best step? So I encourage you to schedule a call with our team at SpanishQuanSalsa.com slash chat, um, especially if you are listening to this you know, you say, oh man, this is, I missed it. I didn't hear the episode uh, that week. So the replay is not available. So if you're listening to this a little bit later, you will still be able to schedule a call with our team, SpanishQuanSalsa.com slash chat. 
and uh, schedule schedule a time. It won't take you know more than 15 or 30 minutes. It really depends on how many questions you have. Uh, but we'll get on a Zoom call with you and talk through what is your next best step to implement your 90-day fluency plan. As always, I hope something that you've heard in this episode has helped you go one step closer from Spanish beginner to bilingual. Hasta la próxima. Thank you for listening to the Learn Spanish Con Salsa podcast at LearnSpanishConSalsa.com.